Hello everyone, it's Takuya here and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. You probably saw in the last one that we were doing Kaiser Reich, and I also said from that that there was a difference between Kaiser Reich and Kaiser Redux, and people honestly have a preference between the two mods as to what it is they like more. For anyone who doesn't know the difference, Kaiser Reich is the mod that is Kaiser Reich, but more wacky. It is based off like the original idea, I guess, with Kaiser Reich, where it kept a lot more paths that were very weird alternate history scenarios with a lot of crazy things which we will jump into. But I was told in one of my comments that I need to reform the Byzantines as the Greeks. So you know what, boys? I think uh, I think that's something we're going to look at here. Oh, damn. The artwork in this is extensive. Holy crap. Wow. Let's see. Do Is this all the ones that have focus trees? The Mongol? The fact that the Mongols have a focus tree. I'm probably going to end up having to try one of these. But you know, before we get into today's episode, I think it's time for today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, we all know Raid Shadow Legends, and honestly, here's the thing. When you're playing Hearts of Iron 4 and you got a 70-day focus tree to do, and you're sitting there and you're waiting for it to complete, you know what you could be doing during that time? Playing Raid. Raid Shadow Legends is arguably one of the biggest mobile games on the entire market. We're talking something with AAA graphics that has been squeezed into a mobile game that you yourself could enjoy with all different kinds of factions and champions and everything that gets you involved. And on that note of factions, we need to talk about one of the new ones that were just introduced, the Sylvan Watchers, because these guys are a little bit different, because rather than building a sprawling city on the ground or in a cave, what the Sylvan Watchers do is make their home in the Mistwood, a huge jungle in the east of Teleria. And if the beasts inside of the forest don't kill you, well, the Sylvan definitely will if you are trespassing on their land. Make no mistake, these guys are tough and each one is in tune with nature in some kind of cool and unique way. I mean, some of these have plants or mushrooms that are growing off of them, while some of them are quite literally trees. I mean, come on, just, just just look at these guys. Look at them. And of course, each time we do this, we have to talk about the news, and there is something new that is happening in the world of Raid. If you are a new Raid player, then Raid is preparing something rather special for you. It's time to vote on your favorite starter champion. If you download Raid Shadow Legends from the links below and copy your in-game player ID, you can then go to championselect.plarium.com, and if you simply enter your player ID and then vote for your chosen champion, well, that's all you have to do. The vote for this is going to run from January 16th to February 10th, with all eligible entrants being able to win awesome in-game and real-life prizes, including epic and legendary champions along with in-game items, but even the possibility of earning Amazon gift cards worth up to $1,000. Mind you, only new players from the US are able to win a prize here. Also, whether you are a new player or old, either one is able to get a special new legendary champion that is based off the MMA and pro wrestling legend, Ronda Rousey. And you can get her for free, whether you are a new or longtime player, just by logging into Raid. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and February 20th, and you get Ronda. Plus, with the new year, there's a whole fresh batch of updates with new features, including a new season of the Forge Pass for all of your artificers, the Plarium Points program where you can earn in-game goodies, including a legendary champion, and much, much more. Plus, with Raid's fourth anniversary coming up later this year, this month we are going to see the launch of the humongous fourth anniversary Titan event. This is a new type of event that is going to last several weeks, and you will see you earning anniversary points by completing special themed events. And with everything that I have said and done with Raid, if you have not yet started playing it yet, then please do click the link in my description or scan my QR code here on the screen and you will get unique bonuses worth up to $35. We're talking a free epic champion, the Jotun, 100,000 silver, 50 gems, and two epic skill tomes. All of this treasure will be awaiting for you right here and it is available for the next 30 days for new players only. Get in here, play the game, continue to support my channel, and thank you Raid Shadow Legends very much for sponsoring us. Enjoy the rest of the video. But no, among this rather interesting map that we are seeing here, the one that we are going to be wanting to do is Greece, the Hellenic Regency, which is not actually listed in here as an interesting country, is it? So I don't I don't have a whole brief history that tells me what is what. So I guess since I can't look at the history on here, what it is that I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it on my phone and I'm going to find the history of Greece and Kaiserreich. So Greece, formerly known as the Third Hellenic Republic, is a country in Southeast Europe and the Balkans that borders Bulgaria to the north, northeast, and Albania in the northwest. Of course, it still keeps the same history where the Balkan Wars happened, where Greece, Serbia, and Romania became very close allies and uh, beat back the Ottomans to gain more territory. But then upon the outbreak of the Weltkrieg, the Greek government was split about which side to join. King Constantine I wished to keep Greece neutral, while he personally favored the central powers in Germany. However, the Greek prime minister wished to push back Serbia and the Entente in order to gain land against Bulgaria and the Ottoman Empire. 
This disagreement would last for three years until Prime Minister Venizelos would force Constantine to abdicate. Constantine would flee into exile with his heir, Prince George II, leaving his second eldest son, Alexander I, as the new king of Greece. Greece would then join the Weltkrieg on the side of the Entente in 1917, which would prove to be disastrous for the nation. Because again, the premise in this is that Germany and the Central Powers won World War I. That is the entire premise of Kaiserreich. The Treaty of Salonika was forced upon the humiliated nation in 1919. Greece was forced to give up most of all of its gains in the first two Balkan Wars that occurred less than a decade prior. It lost all of its Macedonian lands, except for an enclave surrounding Salonika and Chalidiki or Chal Chalkidiki, Chalkidiki Peninsula. The Ottomans were given all of the Aegean Islands back. Aside from territorial losses, Austria and Germany put huge amounts of war debts upon Greece. Yeah, okay. So, no matter what situation we're in, we're in Greece, we can't escape debt. Fuck. God dang it. A vengeful Greece looks across the European continent. It sees its close allies and friends, Serbia and Romania, in a similar position to itself. More than a million Greeks have been separated from their motherland because of the Weltkrieg. Foreign companies, almost entirely Austrian and German, own nearly half of all Greek industry. If Greece would like to gain its pre-Weltkrieg status as a stable and proud nation, it must take the initiative. Some are calling for a new Balkan League with Serbia and Romania to try and recreate the glory of the Second Balkan War and release Bulgaria's hegemony on the Balkans. This idea is gaining a lot of momentum across the three nations. A monarchist campaign is brewing across Greece while a violent syndicalist minority opposes the return of either king. Greece must decide for itself how to reclaim its glory. Well, you know what, baby? I think that means it's time for the Byzantines. Let's reclaim the glory and finish off the old empire of the Ottomans. You ruined us once before, baby. It's not going to be happening again. The world of Kaiser Redux. We're going to have a lot of different stuff in here to do. Wait, how do I access the in-game paths? Whoa, and I won't have to ask how to get the country path I want. Thanks, Kaiser. Oh, oh, wait, can I path guides? I can go ahead and select this. How to go radical socialist Byzantium. Oh my Lord. Huh, this is actually a really cool thing on how to do these different stuff. Okay, wow, that's interesting. That is really interesting. Legacy of Alexander. Ooh, we're getting some good benefits to this, except for real shitty ones that are over here. Research out of the way, we're probably going to want some civilian factories, get those going, even though our industry is going to be in a terrible position overall from the most uh, throughout the majority of this, I think. And then let's see here. Prepare for war. Is that the thing that we're going to want? Referendum on the monarchy? No, we can't do that yet. Black Monday? No, this is how to fix our economics, but that's not something we're going to be able to do. The old order or the throne and autocratic Greece. Ancient glories? Ooh. Ooh. This looks nice. All right, so since we can't do any of these, first things first, time to prepare for war. War is coming, let's get ready. We have no population, we barely have a military industry, we don't have anything, so it's gonna take a little bit of time to get us prepared for this. Our government is very clearly not popular right now, but then again, uh, that's usually how things go in Greece. Stock market crashes, Black Monday, oh boy, fun times, fun times, and Georgios Kondalis is dead, the nation mourns. Whoa, 40% minus stability, what? Oh Lord, oh Lord, 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 Lord. And at the same time that happens, we, we with no political power or economy or anything to speak of and negative force stability, which just makes total sense for Greece. Then see the eruption of the fourth Anglo-Afghan war. Lovely. Referendum on the monarchy. We need to determine what we're going to do. Referendum begins and we lose even more stability. It will be a difficult couple months until the vote is actually held and expectations are high that it will not be a peaceful time for Greece. You don't say. Yep, there goes Black Monday hitting Greece. Uh, so on top of everything that we're already facing, now we get an even more, minus 200 political power. Wait, are you serious? Are you serious? Even more? We are quite literally never gonna recover. Plus 0.1 political power per day. We will not be able to do anything. Oh my God. Farming crisis, even less stability. Oh. <laughs> minus 20%. The unions march. Uh, yeah, uh, no. Lose political power. Get, no, 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 no. Less stability. We're Greek. We don't need stability where we come from. Voting begins. Today, throughout all of Greece, voting has begun on the referendum to determine the future of the Fourth Republic, and it's most likely going to be the monarchists. Okay, so that's set to happen. Do I just wait and see what happens? All right, in the meantime, while we wait, next step immediately after this, a farming crisis. Let's go ahead and start trying to fix our economy, which is in bad shape. And the monarchists win. The question of the Republic's future has been finally settled, and it's with celebration throughout the country that the people welcome back the royal family. There's, however, a disagreement on who exactly should be the, on the throne. King Alexander, the unpopular younger brother, who ascended the throne after his father and brother were originally exiled, or Prince George, the brother who would have been heir, yet has never been king. 
Olin falls to syndicalism. Oh boy. Oh boy. Everything is happening everywhere. All right. Foreign owned industry. Fuck it. Seize it all. It's ours. We're taking it. It's mine. It's mine. And I guess let's just continue down the path. Nationalize vital companies and just fix our economy. I don't know. We're not even doing politics. Do I know what's going to happen? No. <laughs> Sanctions. Uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good one. Uh, that's not going to do anything here. German Empire de declared war on Belarus. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Already? For what? For what? Belarus, what did you do? You declare war on everyone. What the fuck did you do? What are we doing now? Taking out loans. We cannot dig any deeper. The only way to bail Greece out of this crisis is to take out as many loans as we can afford. <sighs> Topical, baby. Topical. <laughs> Game too realistic. Too, too, too realistic. Absolutely. Mustafa Kemal seizes power. Oh, no. Are the Ottomans going and being a little spicy? All right, full recovery. That is now done. That removes the effects of Black Men Monday from us. All right, we don't have to worry about that. Now, next step on here, we need to first pick King. Uh, Georgios, uh, the guy who seems to be a little bit more autocratic. We're going to do that one first. Oh, uh, hey, look, we have a king, and we actually have a degree of stability. That's new for Greece. Can we go down here to Ancient Glories? No, we cannot, because they're not the ones in charge. All right, got to continue down the political path. Time to purge the Republicans and lose even more stability again. Ah, and America breaks out in a civil war. All right, natural, natural, natural. Somehow, you have even less stability than us. Serbia has invited us to send a diplomat to Belgrade to take part in Belgrade Congress. Let me discuss the political and military situation in the Balkans. Since the victory of Bulgaria in the Welkri, we've had our eyes on the land that is rightfully ours, as does Serbia, and they suggest we form a new formal alliance called the Belgrade Pact to protect our mutual interests and contain the Bulgarian menace. This could, however, angle Bulgaria's former allies, Germany, Austria, and the Ottoman Empire. Yeah, we're going to join the Belgrade Pact. Absolutely. And that means, baby, it's time for the ancient glories. A return to the past. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. Ooh, 12% population, 5% division recovery rate. Oh, oh, this is, this is some nice stuff. This is some very nice stuff. Considering we already have the bonuses for legacy of Alexander for division defense on core territory plus 10%, that means we're looking at plus 20% defense in our own territory, which is nice. Whoa, wait, what is this? Fourth Balkan War. Whoa, onwards to victory, manpower plus 5,000. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Bulgarian government refused an ultimatum to Serbia to hand over all the territories they seized from us and our allies with the Welkri. With no other option, the Serbian government has declared war. As we are part of the Belgrade Pact, we need to come to their aid. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, if you guys are going to be attacked from that side, I guess I'm going to try and do my best from here. Oh, oh, what? Immediately going to try and attack me, huh? Uh, I don't think that's going to work out for so well for you. Uh, if you just want to bleed your men against me, I I'll accept that. That's fine. The Pact of War. Give me my manpower. Give me everything. The rebirth of a nation, baby. We're doing this. The art of war. Give me that war economy. We're going to surge up through this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They are taking some serious damage. Can we hold it? Can we hold it? Oh, we only have a limited amount of time to take Macedonia. Okay. I am not sure if this is going to work out. All right, come on. Hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. If we can just hold through all of these. We are kicking their ass so far. We are, we are dealing a lot more damage than we are taking. I do not think we are going to be able to take Macedonia there. That's not going to be something easily done, I think. In fact, we are doing a majority of the fighting here at this point because of land combat damage. So you know what? Return of the Akatri. Ak 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 yes, give me all that manpower. We're going to need more of it. Do we have the guns? Do we have all this? Yes, we do. Okay, so let's get a couple more of these units out. Warrior culture. Oh, wow. That is a lot of extensive detail. Okay, so that would... Oh, my God. That would give me weekly manpower plus 1,000? Consumer goods minus 5%. Division attack plus 5. Division defense plus 5. Factory output minus 10. Training time minus 25, reinforce rate plus 5. Oh my god, that is powerful for something like me. Or the neo Nicene, which is army experience gain plus 15%, division org plus 15%, recruitable population minus 2.5. Oh, division recovery rate plus 10%, division attack plus 15%, division def defense plus 15%. Oh man, oh man. You know, I love the experience idea. I love this. I want the elites. Where were the Greeks? We are the best, the neo Nicene. That's what we're going to do. Besides, we have the ecumenical councils. We don't need any of this other crap. We are fine, even if we are not stable at all. That is that is perfectly okay. There we go. Now we're flushing out the armies. We're putting troops on the front line. Let them waste their equipment. Let them waste all of it. We're going to be able to catch up. They're not. All right, all right, all right. Romania is starting to break through. If Romania is starting to break through, that means we're going to lose a lot of our war support in here. Not war support. Um, contribution. But, 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 we have been doing a lot of damage. If we can just break through and start seizing some of this stuff, I think that we'll be able to get a good amount of territory. Uh, now, I can't actually do this part, though. That That is not a thing that I can do. Let's reverse secularization, 
found some church schools, do everything we can. That's one full unit taken. Oh, that's actually something. Yes. Yes, progress. Oh, God. Wait, what did I miss in the world? Spanish Civil War, Austria, Hungary. It looks to be trying to do something now. Wow. A uh, lot of brutal stuff over here. A lot of brutal stuff. A lot of war. We're going to be heading towards Sofia now. We got them wrapped up. We got them wrapped up. All right, there we go. Flush out all the troops. Send everything in. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We flush the front line. Get all this set. We are going to be perfectly pushed up here now. Now's the time to strike. Throw all your men at the front line. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Bulgaria surrenders. Hey, Serbia, white piece with the Sardom of Bulgaria. Okay, okay, wait. So did that, did that get us anything? Did we get, okay, so we got this territory. We didn't get the other stuff that we had taken here for Macedonia. Serbia took all of that. Okay, well, that's not, not, not what I wanted. Oh my God, I did not even realize any of this stuff was in here. Chief of Army, decisive battle doctrine, attack plus temper. Wait, 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 wait. Guns butter, division organization, supply consumption minus 10. Holy shit, that is powerful. But check this out, check this out. So we already have plus 15% to our attack and defense, right? This means an additional plus 10% attack, plus 10% artillery attack. Is that Navy, Air Force? So we have plus 25% to our attack. That means 35% bonus to our artillery attack. Holy shit. Well, we have 113 days to demobilize our economy, which means the next step over here is probably to go ahead and start a war with the Byzantines. Not Byzantines, Ottomans as the Byzantines. You know, that thing. So let's see. That means we could do three 35-day focuses. That's 35. That's 35. And this is 35. Okay, so that means, yes, it is time for us to go ahead and do this. Get some army experience going. If we can level up our troops, if we can get some better doctrines going. That means we'll be able to do way more damage. Oh, God, I don't even have the ability to do naval invasions. Crap, that's not probably going to work out. Okay, you can't do the old strategy like what you did before against the Ottomans, so I might have to bait them another way and figure this out. All right, we'll move all of our troops back here. We will just go ahead and prepare. This should be fine. Oh, boy, and it looks like Latin America is going and having a lot of fun now. The hell are you guys doing? Cuba, that's any Socialini in Bulgaria? Wait, what? Oh, my God, they went socialist? Oh, no. What? Oh, Bulgaria. Bulgaria, Bulgaria. Onwards to victory. Striking our mortal enemy. Let's do this. Retake Constantinople. I get cores on all of this? Oh, oh, baby. Cores on Dardanelles and Grenoble, Constantinople. Okay, that'll make it a lot easier when I'm taking things out. Let's go, baby. We're going to break on through. Break on through. Serbia wants to join my wars. Nah, 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 baby. We got this. I want to be able to take more of this than, uh, than you're willing to provide me, I'm sure. All right, there we go. That's one tank unit knocked out. They will not be able to easily replace that. That's perfect. And I guess it's time. We don't really have anything else to do with our political power, even though we lacked everything in the beginning. So, uh, sure. Police action. Crack down on all the people. Yeah, it's not like our stability is in trouble or anything. No, we're Greece. Stability doesn't matter. The Musafirate of Jerusalem. Wait, what is that? Is Jerusalem separate in this game? Oh my God, it is. What the fuck? <laughs> It's all right, as long as we can break through here, just keep on grinding them down. We will level these guys up and get more and more experience. It's perfect for us. It's perfect for us. It's fine. Our finest hour. Wait, what? British politician, former Lord of Admiralty Winston Churchill has published a new book about an alternate history. So what if Britain actually had won the Great War? Pff, what a childish fantasy is right. That's stupid. Who would have ever thought that that would happen? God, am I not able to break through? Is this not happening? Is it not happening? I've already lost 4K men versus their 40,000. Like, we are doing really good, all things considered. Oh, come on. Let them throw themselves against me. Throw themselves against me. Perfect. All right, you know what? None of this is working. None of this is working. We're to try something different. We're to try something different. We're going to have to bait them. We're going to have to bait them into attacking us. Let's do this instead. Expand the war industry. Get all this going. We're going to need to build this up as much as we possibly can. All right. Are they not going to go for it? No, they're not going to go for it. So we have to take this one, too. Let's try this. Let's try this. Come on. Can we bait them in a little bit further? Maybe wrap them up in a bigger pocket? Will they go for that? No. Are they genuinely not going to go for it? Really? Is the AI actually being smart? Okay, screw it. You know what? You know what? If you're going to do that, we're just going to have to grind against you and damage as much of your men and equipment as we can. You already can see that they don't have any manpower, like any equipment to fill out their front lines. So that means we're just going to have to go on the attack and bleed them out further. So be it. Oh, 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 we actually broke through. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We've been doing this the entire time, baby. Come on, we need this. We need this. We need this. We need this. Come on, come on, come on. We got this. We got this. Serbia declared war on Illyria. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Serbia. Serbia, you're being all spicy now. Fall of Constantinople, baby. We did it. We did it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. 
Iran has declared war on the Ottoman Empire. The sick men of Europe, also known as the Ottoman Empire, is fighting its last breath against the Sultan of Egypt and its many neighbors. <gasps> oh, 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 is everyone declaring war because I took Constantinople? Oh, please, please, for the love of God. Yes, yes, yes. That is such a good event scripted. People are preying on it while it's weak. The Great Syrian Revolt. Okay, if we just trap and destroy all their units while they're here, there's nothing they can do to stop us because I believe that should wipe out the majority of their army, right? Oh, they lost like a good 12 divisions. Baby, we got this. Rebel, kill, destroy, destroy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Armenia declared war on the Ottomans. Oh, everyone is taking the opportunity to kill them. Oh, no. Get absolutely rickety, rickety wrecked. Yemen has joined the Cairo Axis. The Cairo Axis? Wait a minute, what? That is such a weird name. The second Arab revolt. Oh, it's all falling apart. It's all falling apart. Quick, be as aggressive as you can. Wait, are the Germans sending help? Why are the Germans sending help? All right, come on, come on, come on, make it, make, make. Yes, there we go. Wipe another one out. All right, we're not able to break through on this side because of the stupid German volunteers that are coming in, but it's all right. At least we're wiping out unit after unit. We're able to move in. And uh, there you have it now, the kingdom of Greece reborn. Oh Lord, that is a lot of troops. That is a lot that we now have. Uh, do I trust my allies? Not necessarily. Serbia also looks to be uh, being a little bit spicy over here, so I can't exactly say much about them. The conquering of Constantinople. It has always belonged to us. A new capital. Yes, this is the capital of our nation. No Athens will remain as always. No, no, definitely move to Constantinople. Definitely Constantinople. It's back. <laughs> we got Constantinople again. And Syria. Oh my God, you are looking thick. You are looking thick, boy. Time to restore order in Western Thrace. Get cores on uh, everything that we want. Or no, wait, no, that's here. I thought I did get cores on everything. But either way, that is done. It is time to restore our glory. The Purple Phoenix rises. The Sultan of Egypt declared war on the German Empire. Why? Why would you do this? <laughs> Why would you do this? Are you trying to take over Africa or something? Why? And why is Iran getting eaten by both Afghanistan and Azerbaijan? What did you do, Hamid? Oh, then again, you probably don't even know. You people are illiterate. And what the hell happened to Austria? The People's Polish Republic. When did you kill Austria? How did you kill Austria? What did you... What the fuck? The founding of New Byzantium for the emperor. We are back, baby. Emperor Georgios II. Well, now listen. Obviously, things in the north are being pretty weird, but... uh. Egypt decided that they would go ahead and declare war on the world. So I think that means that I can kind of gang up on them as well. So let's go ahead and secure the South then now, shall we? Using our brand new found manpower, the emperor of Byzantium, bow your heads to the Lord. I become the leader of the radical socialists, the social Democrats, the social conservatives, the social liberals. We're the leader of everyone. Oh, look, you got a nice hat now, buddy. The Socialist Populist Coalition. This is concerning. Wait, what? Troubling news from our informants are affiliated with left-leaning Greek political parties. It seems that the conniving Nikos Sikardis has, with a menagerie of rhetoric, manipulation, and blackmail, united most of the Greek left in a new coalition. In a surprising twist of events, Sikardis has claimed that we have not fulfilled the true Byzantium, as it was an empire of many peoples. He, further, ger, he goes further into lunacy, calling Byzantium the first true socialist nation. What the fuck? What? Well, there goes all hope of stability. But then again, we're Greece, so what would you expect? Secure the South, time for a war goal. Oh, you thought you could declare war on the world? No, 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 buddy. I'm declaring war on you. And let's see. March to the North, regain war support, reclaim Rome. Oh, God, there's so many things to do. Quick, let's flood through, flood through. They can't touch me. Oh, Syria's gone. We got it, we got it. Let's wipe them out. Let's wipe out all the remaining troops. Oh, to the Germans. No, 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 no. That's my land that you're trying to take back. No, uh, 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 uh. I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate this at all. Uh, uh, in fact, I'm also running out of men. I'm going to have to go up to service by requirement. Uh, <laughs> everyone in the army. Iran declared war on Iraq. Wait, when did Iraq become a thing? Oh, God. Iran, you're not in the best of shape to do that right now. And there we have it. Okay. Do I have the majority war score? I do. I do. And there you have it. They didn't have the ability to take anything. We take all of it, baby. The Byzantine Empire is back, with the exception of the Suez Canal, which is owned by the Germans still. Couldn't take that. But fear not, fear not. All is not lost. We will have our place in the sun yet. The big question is, what do we take now? I mean, Serbia is not allied with any of these powers here now, which is uh, rather amusing to see. So I could go after them, but then there's also the French Empire to consider, which is in a little bit too strong of a position for me to do anything right now. 
an invitation from Rome. Growing power following the reunification of the Italian peninsula, the Italian Federation has seen fit to try and claim a place in the sun and have offered us a part in the Belgrade Pact. While not perhaps as much of a formidable power as the Germans or the French, joining with them could decide the fate of our people. The fuck? The Italian Federation. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. We will not be caught in their delusions of grandeur. And we are going to lead the Balkan Pact because I think it's time that we're going to start focusing our way north. Oh, whoa, Serbia. When did you just break apart and lose all of that? <laughs> you just lost everything that you had taken. Serbia joined the Roman alliance. Re you, Rome. Roman alliance. Really? Coming to France has declared war on the German Empire. Ah, oh, hey, it finally happens. Good luck to you, buddies. I guess it's time we uh, march north. Let's go for it. The Byzantine Empire will be restored one way or another. If I have to wade through mountains upon mountains of my own people's blood to do so, then so be it. Ah, oh, French Empire declared war on commune of France. Ah, hey, hey, hey. You're about to have, have a much rougher time now from the sounds of it. In fact, actually, considering what it is that I'm doing, I will say join the Reichspakt. Let's just go ahead and do that. It's better to get an alliance with them. We are part of the Reichspakt. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. We're not going to accept the call to arms yet, though. We're going to declare our own war first. The Entente is moving to reclaim Europe. Join the Mittel Europa. No, no, no. We're not, we're not doing that. We're not joining their economic pact. We're probably going to betray them, too. We're like the further eastern Italians. That's basically what we're doing. So, Bulgaria, you ready to join in on the fun? The Italian National Social State. Nor okay, everyone is joining against me that is communist. Oh, but there goes the socialist Bulgarians. B -b 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 Bulgarians. Who's all this? Communists of France? Allies? <laughs> get wiped. Get wiped. Lose all of your volunteer units. All right, there we go. Now we're going to have to split all our forces. Prepare for uh, even more fun here, I think. Well, Serbia, do you want to join the party? Oh, Albania is getting called in. Everyone's getting called in. Oh, how tragic. How tragic. And the Romanians. Let's go. Let's go. Just keep on going. Keep on going. There we go. If we could just knock out the Albanians, that'll allow us to wrap up our units. Then we can strengthen the line in our other locations. Bucharest, there's the fall. There's the fall of the capital. Let's fall of the capital. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, shoot. Am I going to break through the Romanians before I even break through the Albanians? Huh. I did not expect that, but okay. Oh, and there goes Romania. They're gone now, too. Excellent. You know, I got to say, the Balkans have never looked more peaceful. And there goes Serbia. All right. That means the last little Italian troop in here is going to be the last one. And then they are gone. Oh, wait. What is this? My whole naval invasion plan. Whoa, 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 whoa. The French are landing now? Hold on, ask for military access. Please give it to me. Give it to me. Yes. So I don't even have to launch my own invasion. Nope. I could just go over here and send them in. Oh, what can I say? The boys are back in town, baby. Here we go. Just keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Keep on pushing. Relieve the pressure from Constantinople. Let's figure out what we're going to do. We are taking Italy. The Greeks are back. I mean, Roman. the Romans are back. Definitely. That. Wait, on the status of Greek primacy, the key talk around Greece is the decision of the prime ministership, with the key issue being non-Greek minorities. With our army successful, we have to control large swaths of land that once belonged to us. However, over the centuries, the Greeks have become a minority in these lands, vast outnumbered by Arabs and Turks, who are less friendly to our rule, to say the least. This new land shall be Greek, and Greek alone. Change in popularity of radical socialism. Get the event, the Anatolian riots. Oh, God. All right, let's just hold them here. There's nothing else that we can really do to break through. It's not happening. It's not happening. The Anatolian riots in reaction to our nationalist pro-Greek agenda, the Turks and other minorities of Anatolia have begun to violently riot against our policies. They will come to their senses in time, though she'll learn our peaceful ways by force. Yes, that one. They will learn of our peaceful ways by force. The Red Strike, disaster. Our police failed to quell the riots around Anatolia. In fact, by resorting to violence, the socialist populist coalition has completely turned this problem on our heads. As Greek and Turk join hand in protesting your unfair rule and treatment, Nikos Zarkartis himself has led a march in Constantinople to depose our rule with the people against us. Even the most staunch nationalists have no desire to spill Greek blood. It appears all we can do is watch as the socialist populist coalition seizes power in Byzantium. Oh, Lord. The Byzantine Socialist Empire. <laughs> Fucking hell. What the fuck? All right, we're gonna need to spend some time and wait and replenish our stocks because we are out of guns. All right, quick, you know what? We're gonna get rid of this. We don't need to stuff on air production right now. No, the Socialist Pluralist Coalition. We're gonna need to get that and figure this out because we are not popular at all. This is not good for us. This is not good for us at all. The Social Pluralists are triumphant. Okay, uh, next step here, abandon guerrilla tactics. Ooh, increase our power even more. We probably could use more stability though. We are, we are really hurting. All right, let's get the Metropolitan of the East, increase our stability, and then simultaneously next, we're going to increase our abilities uh, for our military. 
There we go, there we go. Just let them throw themselves at me. That's exactly what we want. Are we missing guns? Yes, we're actually missing quite a bit of guns, but it's okay, it's okay. I can realize I don't need all of these troops. We're gonna get some of that infantry equipment back. All right, cycle them out, cycle them out. Let them attack, let them attack. Perfect, okay. Now, finally, finally we managed to get them to hold. Okay, please, for the love of God, resupply. We need a lot more troops and a lot more everything going in here. Ooh, it is getting really bloody and brutal up here. All right, all right, come on. Come on, we got this, we got this. Marshals of Discipline order. Required garrison minus 25%. Oh, 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 yes. Byzantine socialism, everybody. It's exactly what we want. All right, let's see if we can just break through here. This is starting to get ridiculous. We, we, we have to spread this line. And with that done, it is time. A rejuvenated empire for all. All people will love us. All people will support us. Absolutely. We have created a moderate leftist utopia under our God-given emperor. What the fuck, man? God, they're just throwing their lives away at me now. Here, this is ridiculous. Come on. A rejuvenated empire for all. Come on. We, we're getting this up here. We're going to do it. We just can't seem to break through this. Holy shit, they're just still throwing their lives away at me. There's like nothing I can do here. I can't advance. King Edward advocates the throne. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We're steadily moving. We're steadily moving. We're trying, we're trying. Fall of Rome, baby. We did it. Rome is now once again in our hands. Perfect. Oh, breakthrough, baby. Breakthrough, breakthrough. We got this. Surround and destroy. Surround and destroy. That's what we want. Oh, and there we go. There go the Italians. Are we... Wait, are we the only one with victory against them? Oh, we are. Okay, right, 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 right. Because it's all these. It's all these. Yes, let's claim everything. Beautiful, beautiful Italia. Beautiful Italia. King George, you want to be in charge? The fall of Rome. Did our move? We moved our capital to Rome. <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah, here we go. Quick, while we have the troop advantage, let's push. Let's push into the mountains. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let's take Paris. Let's take it. Let's take it. Fall of Paris. Oh, France, baby. France, baby. You're mine. You're, well, I mean, technically now you belong to the French Empire here because that's all this. But I believe that I'm doing the majority of this. So that is to be said. We're throwing away a decent amount of lives in your favor. So there's that to consider. Come to France. Gone. All right. That means that we have Br Br Britain to still deal with. That's nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. The naval invasion is failing up here. Oh, how tragic. Well, I guess it's up to the Greeks to do everyone's job then. Come on, boys, let's go. There we go, there we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Trap them all, trap all these English commies. I mean, I'm also technically a commie. You know what, you know, we'll ignore this, we'll ignore this. Ah, oh, the Union of Britain falls. We, oh wow, he did not get nearly as much war score as anticipated. Okay, well, I guess from here on out, we figured out what we're gonna do. And there we go, peace in Europe. But we're not, uh, we're not quite done yet, I would say. And the British Empire returns to the Isles. Ah, hey, look, it's looking so peaceful and nice here now. Isn't that lovely? Totally nothing bad is going to happen here whatsoever, like at all. Well, I guess since we have 16 days to uh, demobilize our economy, time to start another war, because I'm not getting rid of this. In fact, let's call the Allies for part of the Reichspack, so why not? Why not? Let's just get everyone involved then, shall we? Oh, and there you have it. Wow, that was significantly quicker than I anticipated. Huh. Well, everyone, in the end, I think that that is the end of that. That was uh, an exceptionally fun campaign. <laughs> the Kaiser Redux mod for Minor Nations is incredibly fun. I would love to jump into this and try some of the other ones around here. Greece, oh man, the, that that was spicy Greece. That was that was really powerful, spicy socialist empire Byzantine Greece. I mean, these effects on here are just that th that's fun. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please let me know in the comment section below what it is that we should do next. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm probably going to do another mod after this, not Kaiser Reich or Kaiser Redux, but probably something new. You know what? I might even do Millennium Dawn. I might even do Millennium Dawn. I felt bad taking out Ukraine there. We, uh, we might want to try to rectify the situation. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a good rest of your day. That was an extremely fun campaign, and I hope you all try it out too. Bye, everyone.